chaos at U.S. airports welcomed Donald Trump's first effort to ban immigrants from seven mostly Muslim nations. Despite setbacks in court, Trump is making it clear he is regrouping and will continue his fight for a ban. We will not allow our generous system of immigration to be turned against us as a tool for terrorism and truly bad people. He could pursue legal channels through the court system or file a new executive order travel ban as early as Monday. Meanwhile, this is the scene across the United States. In at least a half a dozen states, Immigration and Custom Enforcement Agents, or ICE, are taking illegal aliens into custody. Critics allege the raids are netting more than just repeated felons, but also targeting citizens who have long lived in the U.S., like Guadalupe Garcia, who was deported to Mexico after being in the United States 20 years. I have been doing all this for my children, for them to have a better future and for their dreams not to die. The new director of Homeland Security says authorities are just doing their job. If there are laws on the books that are bad laws, then change them. But people like me, CVP, ICE, local law enforcement, we have no alternative but to enforce the law. We can't ignore the laws. Critics are calling the raids, quote, the first wave of attacks under the Trump administration and say they are bracing for more. The Hispanic Congressional Caucus in Washington, D.C. wants to meet with immigration authorities and Texas Congressman Joaquin Castro wants to know more, saying, I am asking ICE to clarify whether these individuals are in fact dangerous, violent threats to our communities and not people who are here peacefully, raising families and contributing to our state. I will continue to monitor this situation. Trump made a crackdown on illegal immigration one of the cornerstones of his campaign. But like so much in the U.S. these days, it remains a contentious issue. Polls show only about half the people in the U.S. support the immigration ban. The remaining feel it deals a crushing blow to civil liberties. Sean Cadlebs, CGTN, Washington.